grapes um, in Brazil, and I will start with some some approach. Like, um, although rural areas in Brazil are full of cultural diversity and social exchange, an, an inadequate land management has resulted in the destruction of the ecosystems that we have there. One example is that what is happening in Amazonia in this moment. This, um, this uh, land management also has implied in the structure of the nature, but also in the expulsion, sorry, expulsion of traditional communities for the place of origin that they have. I have one question. Who of you knows Amazonia? Have heard about Amazonia? Everyone. Of course, it's a very important uh, rainforest in the world. And the media is out, always focused on this area. But Brazil is also composed with a lot of biomes. And Cerrado is also a very important biome of Brazil. It's like a savanna. So, and I choose this biome to talk today here in this meeting because we have two million square meters, square kilometers of Cerrado in Brazil and just 20% of Cerrado is conserved. Why? Because of the agribusiness, of course, and because in Cerrado is the, it, there is a lot of cities, there are a lot of urbanization area. So then we have uh, Brasilia, that is the capital from Brazil in this area. We have the capital of the state of Minas Gerais in this Cerrado. So we have this, the frustration of this, this, this area. Of course, uh, the fire, that is something that uh, the farmers use to make the deforestation, also impact in this, in this biome. But in the positive points, Cerrado is the richest savanna, savanna in the world. It's a, a research. And also in Brazil, it has a high aquifer potential. Even we can have uh, eight months or nine months of, without rainwater in this area, we have very important springs in Cerrado. One of them is the spring of the river basin of Tocantins, that is from the Amazon basin. Another is the San Francisco basin that springs in Cerrado, and it gives uh, water for the whole northern part area of Brazil, that is a very dry area. This is Cerrado, and here we have Caatinga, that is a desert, almost. And uh, we have uh, the river basin of Prata, that is very important. And also in Cerrado, we have a social importance because we have uh, traditional communities who live there that still working with the, cl the climate that they are uh, inserted with no water and etc. And uh, we have indigenous group, Afro descendants, people in this area, and also rivers, uh, ri riverside communities. So, uh, talking a bit more about me, I had developed researches with traditional communities in whole country. These points uh, are in rural area with traditional communities. I developed in a private company. I worked in a private company for eight years. And also I developed some projects in urban centers. But today I'm going to talk with a specific project that is in Cerrado, that is uh, the area of the National Park uh, Peruaçu. Um, the first time that I was in Peruaçu, I was very, very, uh, it was very, very great because I saw how uh, the nature and the local culture could connect. We have, we have their archaeological sites with hawk paintings. We have there also geological caves that is very uh, big and uh, we can see here the size of the trees. So this is a very big cave that we have there. And these traditional communities that live in the surrounding areas of this nat 
no para. So then in 2014, I, I found an NGO in, in, to develop action in this area. So I'm talking about of the actions that I developed with the NGO and also that support my PhD research. So the first question, when I was working with the traditional communities in the surrounding area of these national parks, we found that um, uh, we had, it's a very important territory, so we had a lot of actors with different interests for this territory. And this interest conflicts all the time. So we have the natural preservers for the, the fauna and flora, we have the interest for the tourists to, to visit these parks, but the local communities, the interest of local communities was not uh, being heard. So then we start uh, to think who is involved in this territory and we start to search about to better understand what was happening there. So we went to universities to talk with the researcher that was making uh, archaeological research there, social research there, and to understand the point of view that they had for that territory. We went to the public sectors because these national parks involve three municipalities, that is São João das Missões, Itacarambi and Indigenuaria. So then we went and talked with this uh, public sector and the public institute that is uh, responsible for the nature, the environmental, and also for the institute responsible for the cultural heritage that is uh, existing in this area. We visit also the NGOs, the, the NGOs responsible for social projects as Caritas that we have there, the NGOs that was responsible for cultural actions that we have there to better understand what they was thinking about. And then also we had private initiatives as museums, local museums that was working also with the with this um, these cultural aspects of the region, of this local. And then we, we came back for the local communities because in the first time we tried to make an inventory but we, we, find, we found a lot of uh, problems in this, in this work and then after this we went back to the local communities and I, I have a video here that can show um, something that we found that can use the And I think the audio is not working. Okay. Mm, but okay. It's okay, it's just the music that we have there, but we can see that we have uh, different kind of transport there. Uh, this is uh, used until now, this is a community of farmers, they make uh, agroforestal procedures and uh, also they, they work with the springs to maintain the water and they, they make this kind of systems to take the water from, for the rain because with the climate change we, they are the period of uh, no rain are getting bigger and bigger, last year was nine months without rain so it is very important and some techniques of the, the women to clean the house without the industrial, uh, industrial products and the local communities also they are conductors for the national park so when we, we, have, we want to visit this national park they introduce us the fauna, the flora and we made some acti activities with local committees and we, we just take them to the national park to see the hawk paintings so that they could recognize some, some objects, some drawing that they made in some pottery that was that community. These communities, they work with earth. The earth is the main material, natural material that they work. We have this pottery community 
that makes this painting that is very similar for the national painting and they use the same material that is Toa that indigenous communities 10,000 years ago used and we have some bibliographics that say that they are descendants for these this indigenous communities. We have riverside communities there and uh, in my field research I really believe that uh, we have to participate of the activities, of daily activities for the communities so we can absorb more and then we can translate or make narratives about it. This woman, she, she is a doctor for the communities, she knows which kind of uh, elements for the nature she can take and make some medicine for the, the others. So this is the scenario and of course is in different parts of the of the the territory. So this is some photos to illustrate and here we can see a map. This in orange is the national parks and this uh, blue, pink and green is the trajectory that we make. This is the San Francisco River that is the, that big river that cross Brazil, that part of Brazil and this is the Peruazu River that made that caves with the time and we can see that these traditional communities are also always close to this river because it's a, it's a place of water but nowadays this, this river sometimes doesn't have water in the whole year just in some period of the year so they have to always to take care about the water in this area This is a section that I made. So here we have the San Francisco River. We have the fishermen that stay in this. The Pedas River is too small, so we cannot fish in this river. We have to come to this area to make fishing activities. This is the kind of uh, earth technique to build a dog on Pawapiki that we have there. And when we are here it's called the wet system, it's a wet area, and here it's a very dry area. Our indigenous communities in Brazil, uh, as we think, they are never just beside of the river, of the big river, they are more inside of the territory, so they are more here, and we have the Pedro National Park with that big caves, and the surrounding communities that we have here. So then, in my PhD and with the NGO, we start to, to understand these uh, stakeholders and we share them with the scientific uh, stakeholders that was making research there, the NGOs, the public sector, the private initiatives and the local communities are in the middle because we are working these all stakeholders surrounding us, we focus with local level. So we have the local level, the national level and then the international level. This national park also is um, considered from Brazil to be the, the next uh, national the next area to be presented for UNESCO to get the stamp of cultural and natural heritage. And uh, so then we, we start, to, this is just an example, okay, it's not <laughs> what I'm using in my research, but we start to analyze these networks where it was uh, getting good results, the network, and what, where we could find some um, difficulties and some problems between uh, the communication of these uh, stakeholders involved in this research. So then, this is my research. I didn't draw too many uh, data and uh, technical uh, data, but I, I wanted to make a zoom. Thank you very much.